So first, let us learn about how the church rose to power and became the most important element in medieval Europe. The fall of the Roman Empire created a void in the lives of the people in medieval Europe. Thus, many people looked towards Christianity. As Christianity spread, the power of the church increased. Thus, the concept of a church developed with an elaborate infrastructure. Churches spread all across Western Europe. Priests lived with the people and performed religious services. So now, let us learn a bit more about these priests. There were some priests who chose to live as ascetics. They were called monks. The monks lived in monasteries where they pursued their religious mission. Just like monks, women who gave up worldly life were known as nuns. They lived in convents and nunneries. The monks and nuns lived an extremely disciplined and spartan life. They shunned luxury and comfort and did not marry. They also had to follow a very rigid code of conduct. Their day was divided into three parts. One for prayer, one for intellectual and manual labor and one for sleep. Now let us learn a bit about the place where the monks lived. The monks lived in monasteries as we saw earlier. The monasteries contained almost everything one needed like a church, ponds, a large library, a hospital and a large garden. Well, what was the significance of the church in the medieval period? Let's see that just now. During the medieval period in Europe, the church was the only source of education. It also looked after the sick, the poor and the destitute. Now let us learn a bit about the Christian monastic order. First came the priests. They formed the lowest rung of the monastic order. They performed religious services, baptism and conducted marriages. Next came the bishops who were a rank higher than the priests. They supervised the church in its everyday functioning. Now, among the bishops of all major cities, the Bishop of Rome gained absolute supremacy. He was known as the Pope, which means Father in Latin. Now, I know that this is a bad transition, but let's see the impact of the monasteries in medieval Europe. So first, monasteries served as learning centers for monks and nuns. From the education that the monks and nuns received, they educated children, treated the sick and extended help to the needy as we saw previously. Thirdly, large cities built huge churches which became great centers of learning like the Oxford and Cambridge universities. Yes, they were originally churches.